October 26, 2014. Checking since Sinclair calls 911 after shooting his pregnant wife. 911, please fire ambulance. Uh, yes, hello? Hi, 911. Do you need the police or the ambulance? Um, yes. Yes, ma'am. I need the police. To what address? What's going on there? Um, a murder has been committed. Oh, a murder has been committed? By who? By me, ma'am. By you? Yes, ma'am. Who did you murder? I murdered my wife. When? Around 7 this morning. Okay, and what's your name? Checkinson Sinclair. Checkinson? Yes. Okay. Is she still there? Yes, she's still here. What did you kill her with? I killed her with the gun. You shot her? Where'd you shoot her? Uh, I shot her in the head. Is she in the bathroom or is she in the bedroom? Where's she at? She's in the bedroom. She's in the bedroom? Yes. Do you still have the gun? Yes, I still do have the gun. Can, do you have it in your hand or where's it at? Table. All right, we've got somebody coming out there to talk to you. Why did you do this? Um, we got into an argument, and she came at me with a knife. And so you shot her? Okay. What was your wife's name? Latwasa Argrett. What was it? Latwasa Argrett. Okay. How long have you all been together? We've been married for seven months. Seven months? One out of eight. Yes. Do you fight often? Maybe stand by the front door. Um, I'm in the living room. Um, the gun is over there by the dining table. I'm, I'm not I'm nowhere near the gun. So I'm, I'm not going to test any of that. Um, I just want the police officer to come over and just handle this. Okay, well, they're going to be there in just a little bit. with me, that's fine. Um, I'll just wait for a police officer to get here now. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. St. Lucie County, Florida. Checking since Sinclair and Latwasa Argrette were only married for seven months. She was seven weeks pregnant at the time. Around 6.30 a.m., they had an argument about a text message she had received from an old boyfriend. He threw her phone in the toilet. He then claimed she ran to the kitchen and got a knife. He said she ran after him with a knife, but when she couldn't catch him, she went to the bedroom and slammed the door. Checkingson told police that he went to the living room and retrieved a gun from under the recliner and went into the bedroom. That's when they started arguing again. He claimed that she went forward to attack him with the knife and that he fired the first shot that grazed her as she fell to the floor. Only she got up once more to attack him and he shot her in the head. The authorities weren't buying his story at all. Upon the review of her body, it showed that she was shot in the back of the head at close range. 
They also believed that he planted the knife in her hand to make it look as if she had had a weapon. When the police questioned him, he admitted killing his wife because he had wanted her dead. He was then charged with first degree premeditated murder, tampering with evidence, and murder of an unborn child. A grand jury has since indicted him on first degree murder charges and prosecutors will seek the death penalty.